Hey guys, this is Jay. I want to show you a really cool game I got recently. It's called Kitsure by Outside Media. First time I saw this game is from a Barnes Noble in Union Square, and I look at the game and I see, hmm. They got some examples in the back, by the way. I see. Building an igloo. Wow, how would anyone act that? That's interesting, so I really want it. And thanks to Outside Media, they sent me some review copy so I can share with you today. Let's see what's inside. This is the box. That's the back of the box. That's Outside Media. Anyway, okay. Rule book. Uh, I lost the paint. Pencil come with it, so I get another pencil come from another charade and scoring sheet, cards, one minute timer, and a die. Okay, so uh, you play this game in teams, and you can see you can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at the same time, seven different teams. Although I do not recommend it. But I would play up to four teams, and that should be good for now. So each round, one person from a team will come, will, will come to the front, and draw a card from the bottom. Okay, that person, and then will roll the dice. Okay, two. Okay, now let's see the rule book. If the person roll one or four, is people or character. Two or five is animals, object. Three or six is action or phrases. So by rolling the number, give you a clue what that is. So for two, we roll is an animal or an object. So the person who uh, is gonna do this car, gonna act out thunder and lightning. Now, um, the people who can guess is not limited to this person's, uh, to this actor's teammate. Anyone can guess. So whoever is the first person gets it correctly, they will score. For example, let's say um, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's say one person from team one go up to the front and act this phrase out, but someone from team two gets it correctly. Now, so they, so team two can cross out number two because we run number two, right? Okay, so now. One person from team two will go out to the front and draw another card and roll the dice. And then anyone can guess. So the winner would be whoever can cross out all one, two, three, four, five, six. All six dices will be the winner or be the winning team. Okay, um, to be honest with you, I never played the game according to the rule. Because this deck of, this deck of card is just so fun. You can just draw any card and pick any one and act it out and it's such fun so much fun party game this is a typical party game and you don't have to think because you can just buy this it, it doesn't cost much 10 15 dollars in a local store um, because when you play a typical charade you're gonna have people writing index card left and right and people just don't have idea what to write so why not just get this deck of 50, car 50 cards and each card has 6 ideas for you to act so 300 ideas over here and while we are here let me show you another charade game I'll also rule book. One, one second. Okay, I'm sorry. I found it. Shire in a box. Um, I want to say this is the animal edition. I'm not sure because I'm sorry. I, I throw the box away because I want to put all the game into S you know what one as one box as possible anyway yes it is the animal edition I'm looking at it right now okay let me show you
the Animal Edition. It's just a deck of cards. And what's fun about it is each topic has at least one animal in it. For example, well, everyone knows this one. Cat got your tongue. Seahorse, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay, you, you see correspond, uh, corresponding pepper next to it. It means the difficulty. One pepper is, you know, a piece of cake. This, uh, I think this one has four peppers. And uh, the pepper number goes from one to five. So four, four and five are very, very difficult. And one, two, three, they're simple. And this is the scoring path for Sheree in the Box. As you can see, it, um, each team will play 10 different rounds. And whoever get the most total correct at the end of round 10 will win the game. And this is the rule book, by the way. And rule book also provides some helpful hint for you to act it out. For example, uh, standard charade signals, as you can see through, read through these things. It teaches you how to, it's like a tool, help you to act while you are playing this game. And what I really like about this card is um, it, it, um, it has a lot of phrases that's good for learning English, you know, for people who are new to this country. Okay, so this is Charade in a Box Animal Edition. Let me show you again. Okay, and personally, I think this um, edition is harder than Kids Charade. Um, it has a lot of phrases, colloquialisms. And there's one other charade version. I'm not going to show you detail, but I'll show you the box. It's the, the saucy charade. Yes, this one is for adult. And I'll just show you what's in the box. Yes, uh, the content is a bit uh, R-rated, so I'm not going to show you what's on the card. But it's the same, you know, concept. And <laughs> you can just... This, this scoring... Um, book or it's not really a scoring book it's a diagram to help you it's just funny okay it's just really funny anyway these are the three different versions uh, they have by Outset Media they do have several more uh, I don't have it here but if you were to just get one I would say get this one it's not just for kids although it said kids charade is for anybody who won't have fun and by the way, um, you know, if you don't have these cards, you can just, you know, write them down on a piece of paper and pass it to, uh, you know, the other thing and have them act. And one thing I ask a lot of people to act, which a lot of people have trouble acting, is the word tank, military tank. It's so difficult. So far, I've seen only one person did a good job, but, you know, you gotta be creative. So, alright. Um, thank you for seeing. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.